What makes you think that I'm an answer if you ain't mine? We're gonna go ahead and jump into our first topic of the day. There was a lot of, hmm. I, I think that's fine. That's fine. Is that fine? Let me see something. Hold on. It barely made a difference. Okay. Uh, okay. So, we got some drama brewing. And, um... and Warner Brothers over this Shazam Fury of the Gods movie. Zachary Levi backs report that Dwayne Johnson pretty much sabotaged um, a post credit scene in Shazam Fury of the Gods. Uh, the truth shall set, set you free. Levi wrote on Instagram. As you can see right here, there was a report. The rap confirms that in Shazam Fury the Gods, the Justice Society from Black Adam were recruiting Shazam in the post credits. The Rock denied access, and David F. Sandberg had to make a last minute decision to add Emilia and John. Dwayne The Rock Johnson attempted to restructure the DCEU, centering him and Henry Campbell Superman. The Rock didn't allow Zachary Levi to cameo in a post credit for Black Adam. Uh, and so now everybody's walking around trying to, um, uh, uh, blame the rock for the failure of Shazam. We're going to get into that in a second. Zachary Levi was casting Thunderbolts, uh, Tuesday after a report circulated that black Adam star, uh, Dwayne Johnson blocked characters from the rocks film. Uh, showing up in post credit scene in Levi Shazam Fury to God. It was already known that members of Black Adam's Justice Society of America were originally slated to appear in Fury of Gods with filmmaker David F. Sandberg telling The Hollywood Reporter that the scene fell apart three days before we were going to roll cameras, forcing him to find alternate characters last minute. On Tuesday, the rap reported that Johnson blocked the characters from appearing in Fury to Gods and that the actor and the pro and producer also nixed a potential Levi cameo Whew. I apologize. In um, what is that? In Black Adam, and so now people on Twitter are trying to blame Shazam's failure on The Rock. And the only thing that I can think about this is, y'all got to be kidding me, right? Hey, we got uh, uh Hans in the chat. I'm going to read his, uh, his chat in a minute. Y'all have got to be kidding me. So let, let's play this out. Let's play this out, right? Let's say uh, uh, Shazam is giving everything that they wanted. You get Zachary Levi in the post credit scenes of Black Adam. And you get uh, um, the Justice Society in Shazam. In what way was that going to make more people interested in seeing Shazam 2? I mean, y'all let me know something. I, I mean, seeing Shazam in the post credit scenes of Black Adam didn't mean anything because Black Adam flopped. So I'm, I'm so confused. Uh, uh, and, and if I'm The Rock, I mean, honestly, if I'm The Rock, I'm looking at the DCEU failing. And evidently, The Rock thought he was going to be the thing to save the DCEU. And I think he he had uh, an overinflated sense of self there. Well, he was going to try to... if So let's just say if Black Adam had done what, it was, what they thought it was going to do, which was going to be a hit, and the DCEU was going to be rebooted, he would have been the center of it. Because he would have been like, yeah, I'm the one that saved the DCEU. And you don't want, you're like, dude, screw Shazam. Like, I don't care about Shazam. I think Black Adam is a more popular character than Shazam. I think people are more interested in seeing Shazam versus Henry Cavill than they are seeing, um, I mean, I'm sorry, Shazam versus Superman 
Then they are seeing Shazam. I mean, uh, God damn it. Black Adam versus Superman. Then they are seeing Shazam versus anybody. I, I think people like Black Adam. Matter of fact, Black Adam did better than Shazam. And I think, and, and here's my, um, here's what I believe. If Black Adam got a sequel, I believe it would do better than Shazam again. And probably do better the second time because people didn't know who Black Adam was. So people didn't really care like that. Uh, I think this is a this is a nothing burger. Trying to blame The Rock for what happened with Shazam 2 is ridiculous. Because people just aren't, people just don't give a shit about Shazam, man. Like, cut it out. Anyway, um, let's move on. Let's, let's get to these um, chats. Uh, 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 re, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Han says, what's up? He says, Shazam, so gay. <laughs> Reed says, The Rock is known for this behavior. Just read uh, Vin, Diesel, Vin Diesel report on, of him when he uh, got into Fast and the Furious. While that is true, The Rock is a diva. Vin Diesel is too. Vin Diesel, there are reports of other people saying Vin Diesel is that. You got two, what it is with Vin Diesel and The Rock. Is that Vin Diesel and The Rock are these two alpha prototypes who have historically commanded respect and commanded a lot of box office appeal. And so when you put them on two films together, both are trying to fight for the limelight. <laughs> it can get a little toxic. You know, they call that toxic masculinity, but whatever. Uh, we have Levictus Zap in the chat and says hi. Let's go, let's go. Beat that thing down like you started a tantrum, my baby. You had some plans with your man, just tell him to cancel, my baby. Oh. Slide to the cribble like Dracula's mansion, my baby.